So, Hadley Art Prize, biggest landscape prize in Australia, $100,000 to the winner, $2,500 to the four finalists, $10,000 to the People's Choice. It's a lovely prize. Um, and here we go into um, Exhibition Room 1. I was fortunate enough to be able to go through by myself and um, have a quick look around so that I could show you guys without all the noise we've had in some of the other videos, walkthroughs. Um, as you can see, it's beautifully lit. Lots of natural light coming through, but also lots of uh, artificial illumination. The works themselves are gorgeous, uh, and they're all tied together by the theme of landscape. And um, uh, one of the features that you'll notice immediately are the works are quite large. Um, not only does it let you enjoy the surface and um, the colours, uh, but um, it enables you to see the works, especially when it's a crowded room, such as um, which we'll get in the Hadleys, uh, Archibald Wynne Sawman, or indeed the Moran. So size is good in this instance. Into the larger exhibition space, uh, we're just coming into the um, Carbine McDonald Jingala's work, which is uh, a really lovely piece, well deserved of uh, winning the prize, although there's lots of other great entries as well. Um, so you can see that um, it's a lovely tonal work. You probably can't see the detail, uh, which is a shame, but um, you can always have a look online. And uh, as we go through uh, and have a look at the rest of the gallery, um, we can see some of the other work. You can see, again, really lovely standard of work. Remembering that this is prize for $100,000 to the winner. Uh, and when we had the talk with the walkthrough with the judges, it was very interesting to hear why they rejected uh, some particular works. Um, as a Fiona Lowry, who um, has been very successful in landscape prizes in the past. Um, Nigel Hewitt, who got the, the packing room prize. It's quite an intricate work. Uh, it's made from charcoal from, from bushfires. Um, Megan Walsh, not too familiar with Megan. Um, this is a favourite work by many people. Timothy Code. Um, uh, Alexander Beach. Emma Thayers. Nicola Dixon. And uh, Ali Appleton, this is a nice one by Valerie Sparks. It's actually a multi layered photograph, but um, uh, it's two dimensional work, so it kind of fits the criteria. Uh, and Timothy Cook and Danny Millor 